Here's a video that I've never done before, and that is deep scrubbing on a LVT floor. LVT floor is something that's been around for a few years, and it seems to be mopped, and that's basically about it. But there is a lot of embedded dirt that can get down on the LVT floor, which you can make it look dull and dingy and just dirty. Something that you cannot get up with just a mop in a bucket. So I'm just showing you some footage here of what we're gonna do. We're gonna do some bathrooms. And we also have a big fellowship hall that we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be using a square scrub today, along with a squeegee vac to extract all the solution up off the floor. And also you're gonna see us using a, a chemical that I'm gonna share with you here in just a moment. And I'm also gonna show you how easy it is to learn how to use a square scrub. Today we're going to be using a product from CUI Solutions called Deep Scrub. Deep Scrub is designed for LVT flooring to really get in there and to get that penetrated dirt that is in the grooves of the LVT flooring. And I want to thank Tracy and Derek from CUI Solutions for sending me this to give it a try on this channel and to see how I liked it for myself. What I like about this product is it is it's, it's non-foaming and uh, it's really easy to use as you're going to see in this video and also with the phone that you see that is going to come up on the floor during this video is that it is soap and solution that is left on this floor from it being ham mopped i got my family to help me with this this was our church and um this is the first time that any of my family, besides my son, had helped me do any of this kind of stuff. My wife had never run a square scrub before. I made one pass and showed her, and she took off with it. And my youngest daughter, she is running the squeegee vac for me as well. And so my wife is now running the squeegee vac. So this is a real easy process. I mean, there is some labor involved and time involved, but it is an easy process to do. I just want to jump in here for a minute because I know there's some of y'all out there are kind of intimidated about, you know, using equipment and doing floors and different things. If you got somebody that can show you, it's really not that hard to learn, especially with the square scrub and, you know, picking up the solution and different things like that. It's not that hard. Uh, don't be intimidated by that. Get you somebody that knows what they're doing and just allow them to show you and, you know, be teachable and just learn the process. Now, you know, if you was doing a wet strip on a floor or something like that, yeah, there is a little bit more time involved in learning how to do that properly and the safety procedures that goes along that to keep you from getting hurt. But look, just go out there and give it a try. Don't be intimidated. You can handle it. You can do it. If it's knucklehead, learn it. I know you can too. I just want to show you some footage. You see right here how... That is so dirty on the left side and the right side is cleaner. And this right here is just the water from where I was putting solution down. That's not even rinse water. And then we went into the bathrooms and we used a doodle scrub and we got up around the uh, urinals and the commodes because there's also LVT flooring in there as well. So we gave that a really good scrub and uh, cleaned it very well to help bring, you know, bathroom germs and stuff out of that and this floor right here you know, was really really dirty as you can see right here we're picking it up with a uh, vacuum cleaner uh, wet vac and that is really a good way that helps the rinsing process if you've got a way to do that but if not you can also squeegee it toward the drains and you're going to see here in just a moment just how much dirt and mud that we got off this floor with a squeegee in this process and all that foam you've seen was leftover mop resolution remember we're using a non-foam cleaner here so that is a lot of foam and right here is the dirt of me squeezing this down the drain right here of how much dirt is embedded in that lvt flooring so lvt flooring is a maintenance free floor but it does have to be cleaned and it's almost dark outside and we are dumping this out of our holding tank and I want you to just look at the dirty water that came off this floor. So now that we've got the floor clean and dried and we put everything back together, this is some of the results of the floor. It really looks a whole lot better. And that spot you see right there on the floor is a tear place in the floor. This floor had duct tape on it in this area and it was really bad. 
So let's talk about LVT flooring for just a moment. LVT flooring is sold as a maintenance free flooring to my understanding. But from my experience, I have never found a floor that was maintenance free. It's got to be cleaned, not just mopped, but it needs to be cleaned from time to time properly. I think the biggest issue that I see with LVT flooring is this right here. That our cleaning methods that we've learned all these years, you know, hey, you use this cleaner and it will clean all floors. Uh, and cleaning an LVT floor with neutral cleaner, that may not be the best solution from my understanding and my experience with that, is that when you use a cleaner that is soapy on an LVT floor, it leaves a residue behind. Now, I'm going to kind of correct what I just said with something. That is if you're using a mop bucket system. Because we all know if you use a mop bucket on any floor at all, after that first and second dip, you're putting dirty water right back on that floor. So if you're using an auto scrubber and you're putting the solution down on the floor and you're picking it back up with a vacuum, you have a lot better chance of getting that soapy residue that is left on that LVT floor off. This particular floor that you've seen us do in this video is hand mopped with a mop bucket system. So a floor that big, can you imagine what it's like mopping that floor and you're putting that dirty mop back in that dirty water and you're putting that dirty water back on that floor? Well, with an LVT floor with a wood grain look on that, it has those deep grooves and pores in that floor where that dirt can get embedded. And I use the uh, CUI Solutions Deep Scrub but they have a full product line of bringing a LVT floor basically back to life. From the beginning of the deep scrub, if it needs it, all the way up to a sealer that you can put on there to bring that shine back to what it needs to be. I did not go through this whole process in this video. I did not do that whole process on this floor. All I did was went there and done a deep clean where we can get that floor ready back for the very next day because this floor is used for a daycare every day and then it's used every Sunday and every Wednesday night. Fall, winter, and spring, this floor gets a lot of kid traffic on it every. It is definitely a situation where auto scrubbers needed. So this has been a little bit of a learning curve for me as well. You may say that is not how you clean LVT floor. And well, I'm learning in the process, and if uh, I did that wrong, I do apologize, but it worked. It got the dirt off the floor, and the floor looks a whole lot better. So I'm happy with the results, whether I did it right or wrong anyway. But anyway, I would appreciate if you'd like and subscribe, hit that little bell notification button. That way you'll know when I post any videos. <laughs>